square this one and square that one. Does that work? No. no. What does this actually mean to do? Multiply it twice, right? No. Okay. So that square says, yeah, we, we do have a multiplication problem here, but what it really is, it's not just the 5x times the 5x, it's the 5x minus 2 times an entire other 5x minus 2. That's really what we get there. And so you see, if we, if we just square this and square this, we're going to miss out on a, a real important middle term here, and that would be a problem for us. Why don't you go ahead on your own, distribute this. This one you can use FOIL because we have a 2 by 2, and see what you have out of that, okay? Okay, so we are distributing, here the foil does work just fine. We're going to get a, well we are going to get the 25x squared. That part would be the same as if you just squared this one. The important part though is right in the middle when we do this. We're going to get a minus 10x and another minus 10x. That wouldn't show up if you just squared the first one and squared the second term. That wouldn't happen. And then we will get a plus four at the end. Did you get all four of those terms? Yes. All right. And so we're going to get the 25x squared. We'll get minus 20x <coughs> and plus four. That's as good as we can do. We can't combine that anymore. Do you feel okay about the multiplication idea then? Really just distribution, however many terms we have in the first polynomial times however many we have in the second. That's it. Just combine your like terms after that. Now, the last thing we have to cover is we've done addition. We've done subtraction. We now have multiplication. We're going to look at how in the world you divide polynomials. Dividing polynomials here. In chapter 7, we're going to learn how to simplify with division using some fractions. Uh, that's pretty much what chapter 7 is about, is incorporating polynomials and fractions together. That's the idea. For right now, though, we really only have one way to accomplish this, and that's through long division of polynomials. By a show of hands, how many people have seen long division of polynomials? Okay, how many people have completely forgotten or never heard of that before? Okay, that's fine. Uh, have you heard of synthetic division? Okay, you can also do that. You can't do it with this particular one because there's a number right here. Uh, but if there wasn't, if, the, if this coefficient was a 1, you could do synthetic division. It would be pretty easy. Um, I'm not going to show you that here. I'm just going to go with long division of polynomials uh, just so you get that, that concept again. Here's how long division works. You set it up just like you would a normal problem. So as if we were doing... As if we were doing a problem just like that. We set up the same way. So we do have a division symbol just like this one. What do you suppose is going to go on the inside of our division symbol? The 5x squared minus 14x minus 14. And on the outside, we're going to have, well, the second polynomial, what we're dividing by. Yeah, that's our, <coughs> that's our divisor. So we have that up front. Now here's the idea. In this problem over here, what we would do is we'd say, okay, how many times does 5 go into, what would we look for here? Okay. Oh, uh -huh. this one. one. Yeah, we'd check for the 3, right? But that doesn't, that doesn't count, that doesn't happen. So we go for the next 2, we go 31, we go, oh, okay, 5 goes into that 6 times without going over. And so we put the 6 up top, we multiply, we put the 30 right here, and then we'd subtract and get a 1, and then we would bring down the 2. This is not a surprise for anybody, right? Okay, good. That's a good thing. 
The, it's something similar, not exactly the same, because we have polynomials. Something similar happens here. Here's what we do. We do check to see how many times, not the 5x plus 1, we really just care about the 5x goes into the first term. And here's how you do that if you're not too good at dividing. Remember, we are dividing. It's a division. Do it off to the side. What I, what I want you to do, write this first term and divide it by this first term. 5x squared divided by 5x. This first term divided by this first term. Whatever you get here is going to go right there. Are you with me on this? Yes. You're, you're dividing. You're just doing it term by term. And this is going to work out for us. So when we divide here, well, you see the 5s are gone. You've done this stuff before, right? So I'm not going to walk you through that. You've done this. The x is gone, and the x squared is, is gone. We simplify out. We create 1. So what are we left with out of this whole thing? Yes. Nudge it if you're still okay with that x is going to go here. It's kind of weird to think of, but you go, oh, how, how many times does 5x go into 5x squared? It goes in x times. Isn't that strange? That's yeah. interesting. But that happens. I mean, we, we're dividing this term by that term. Now, we're at this step right now. The next step was to multiply, right? Multiply the 6 times 5. You're going to do the same thing here. Can I erase this? You can do the same thing here, but watch. When you multiply, do you see that it is a distribution problem? Yes. Which is why you have to cover multiplication before you cover division. So we go, okay, x is going to get multiplied. 5x squared. If you've done this right, these will be exactly the same every time. You have to be, otherwise this, this process is not going to work. So these are going to be the same. And then you're going to have plus x. So far, so good? Okay. And then what do you do? Over there we subtracted, right? We multiplied and then we subtracted. We're going to do the same thing here. This is just long division. You're just now doing polynomials. <coughs> so we're going to subtract. Here's the key. Okay, watch it. Watch carefully. This is where people make a mistake. It's not really, it's not really doing this, finding this one. That's fairly easy. We're just taking this term divided by this one. It's certainly not distribution. Everybody can get that one right. Uh, it's, the, it's this part. Here's the deal. Do you notice how right here we're taking this polynomial and we're subtracting this polynomial? Do you see that? We're not just subtracting this one and adding this. What we're really doing, if you think about it, we're subtracting this whole thing. Do you see me? What's that going to do? Remember subtracting polynomials? What's that going to do to that side? That's going to change. Are you with me on this? Okay, so because we're subtracting, when you remove the parentheses, this sign is going to change. I'm going to write it in purple so you see I'm changing it, okay? Are you still okay with that? So this is going to distribute, make this one a negative. So when you ask later on your notes, Mr. Leonard, how did this change from a plus x to a minus x? It's because we're subtracting and that minus must distribute. If you're, if you're still lost on this, you're at home, you're like, how? What did you do? Watch this part over. Okay? That's why that sign is changing. It's online. Have you been watching them online, by the way? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's kind of fun. You see me all over again. <laughs> I love that fact. <laughs> okay, so now we're here. We're, we've gone ahead. We've distributed. That's the main point for, for long division is people forget that, and then it doesn't work out, and they go, long division doesn't work. This sucks. It does work. Just remember to change that second sign. Now we're ready to subtract like we do in our regular division problem on the right-hand side. So when we subtract, notice that we've changed this one. We can just consider that to be a negative right there. We're just combining like terms now. Because you've changed that sign, you're just combining like terms vertically. Are you with me on this? So combine like terms. What's 5x squared and a negative 5x squared? Zero. What's negative 14x and negative x? Perfect. That's exactly right. Otherwise, you know what you're going to get if you don't distribute that? You're going to get negative 13x. And that's not going to work with this problem. It doesn't happen. Okay. What do you do after you subtract on this side? Here we got the 1, and then we did what? That's what we're going to do over here. We're going to bring down the next term. Minus 3. And this is an algorithm, means you, you do a process, so we're going to just stick with this process. Then we check the next polynomial, that's this one now. 
we just take the first term divided by the first term again. So you write that off to the side. We go, okay, now we have negative 15x, and we're dividing that by 5x. So first term divided by first term. Just like earlier, we did first term divided by first term. That's the whole process. Does this one simplify? Sure. How much do you get out of that? And you know what? That negative 3 is what we're going to put right here. I'll write in purple for you. You've got to stick with the color scheme. Negative 3. Would you raise your hand if you saw how we're getting the x and the negative 3 like that? Okay, we're dividing the first term of these polynomials by the first term of the, our divisor, what we're dividing by. So our negative 15x divided by 5x, that is what's going up there. That's the whole deal here. What's the next thing? Multiply the one with the negative 3. Okay, so we're going to take this, and just like we multiplied the x or distributed the x, we're going to distribute our negative 3. Let's see what happens. Can you all do this with me? We're going to do negative 3 times 5x. How much does that give us? Right there, you can check your work. Did we do it right? Yes. Yes, we did, because that's the exact same thing. That's what we want. We've got to keep going, though. We're also going to do negative 3 times positive 1. How much is that? Okay. And remember, we're subtracting these things. So if we're subtracting them, it's really you're subtracting that whole polynomial. Watch what's going to happen so that we can just combine our like terms. This negative will be distributing. <coughs> if you distribute the negative, that's here and here, this one's going to change to a plus. Parentheses gone. This one's going to change to a plus. Parentheses is gone. And now we just combine like terms. We've changed both those signs. That way it's way easy just to go down and combine like terms. So let's combine like terms. Negative 15x, positive 15x is? Negative 3, positive 3? Zero. Zero. No remainder. It would divide it evenly. All right. This is one of those ones where we could have factored this, and this would be, this would be a factor within that polynomial. That's the idea there. You're going to see that in chapter 7. By show of hands, how many people feel OK with this division thing? We are going to try one more. Uh, but you kind of need to have at least the idea down right now. Are there any questions before we go on? Um, where you change the last, how that happen? Well, remember that we're subtracting this, right? So if I was subtracting negative 15x minus 3, just like that, I was subtracting that, right? If I'm subtracting that, notice how this is really like a negative 1, and my negative would distribute. It would change each of, the, each of those signs because a negative 1 times a negative, that's going to be positive 15x. Negative 1 times a negative 3, that's going to be positive 3. That's how we're changing those two signs, okay? We're just kind of doing it within the problem. Good question. Any other questions before we go on? Thank you for that question. Yeah. Where did you get a remainder? I'm so glad you asked that question. We're going to do another problem. You're a step ahead today. Step ahead. So just one step. <laughs> <laughs> this game. <laughs>